Why, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. My name is Mr. Dogbo 333 and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserak as the Shangji Clique. Now, last time we came across a plot by the monarchists to try and overthrow Wupai Fu. Now, we realized they were trying to do this, and instead we overthrew Wu Pai Fu. Since the Shangji Click were trying to help them, we're going to try to take them over. So we're throwing our men to die brutally, but that's a, it's a Chinese war, so it, not entirely out, out of usual there. What do we got here? Despite being one of the foremost military minds in China, Wu Fu's skills are not well suited for the halls of government. Already, he fears military matters are falling to the whale side due to his duties in this national protector. He's ordered that the scholars draft the constitution come up with a list of two p new potential presidents for the public. Two candidates briefly emerged, scholar and intellectual Hu Xin, and diplomat and briefly former president V.K. Wellington Ku, or Gu Weizhong, who is well known for his theory of pragmatism concept first originally in the United States in the 70s and 80s, and whose writing he advocates for cooperation with warlords and working to change the Chinese government from the inside out, instead of ripping it down and rebuilding it like many of the KMT. Following the failure of a northern expedition, the theory has gained many adherents it's quite popular in academic circles. Walton Ku, on the other hand, is a diplomatic genius and politician who attended the Versailles Conference in 1919 and the Observer, and helped negotiate several deals with American, German, and British diplomats, giving him a dearth of diplomatic experience that will no doubt be help helpful. In legitimizing our government. Um, Ku or who? Local power as a whole or stability. We're choosing between stability or political power, it seems. We kind of need both, honestly, though. Um... I don't know. I like the... I like the cut of Ku's jib. I want to have a beer with Walking Ku. I'm going to vote for him. Go oh, for Wellington Ku. Hmm. Well, here we go. In an elaborate ceremony today, Wu Pai Fu oversaw the swearing in of a new president of the Republic to adoring cheers. The assembly remains firmly in the hands of the Harmony Association. Many still question the legitimacy of this new regime. Still, Wu no longer has to contend with the Qing aristocracy as a potential opponent. He can instead concentrate on fixing the massive debt facing China, starting to reunify this fractured country. Additionally, despite our best efforts to present our government as a legitimate government of China, few see us that way. We need to either destroy or coerce the groups that oppose our regime and convince the general population that we are the true government of China. Congratulations, Mr. President. And there we are. There we are. Led by V. Qing Wellington Ku. V. K. Wellington Ku, or Gu Weizhong, as he's known in China, is one of the nation's foremost diplomats and statesmen. Influential in negotiations and surrounding, surrounding the end of Velt Creek, during the Imperial Restoration, he served as ambassador of the United States. Recalled due to escalating political tensions, Wu has now appo appointed him to president of the Beijing government of the Republic of China. Hoping his diplomatic skills and help in achieving internet can help in achieving international legitimacy and recognition. We can hope. Well, led by the Harmony Association, loose collection of Zhili bureaucrats, governors, and hangers on that represent Wu Pai Fu and Cao Kun's attempts to present a sort of democratic legitimacy to the Beijing Assembly. Is this what we already read? I think we were already off Dem for a bit. We're just uh, off Dem now, I want to say. These guys are attacking into here. Do our best to attack into Yanan. Mm, shoot. Um, let's get working on support uh, weapons. We really need those. Got a new constitution done.
Okay, let's look around the future of Gili Clique. The upheaval of the last few months shows that the Gili Clique must reform itself if it is to survive the next few years, let alone the next few decades. We need to create a reasonably meritocratic promotion system in our military and eliminate some of the most egregious corruption from our government, or we too will fade into obscurity. We're pushing. We're revolutionaries in Mongolia. All the way up there. Now what do you guys do you, I guess? Slightly worried, but we'll deal with that as we need to. The Xi Li clique, like a very other warlord clique in China, operates primarily on a basis of seniority on a mentor mentee relationship. While usually providing stability and helping reduce the possibility of backstabbing, it also stifles meritocracy and promotions based off skill. With the recent deaths and advancing age of many senior generals, however, we may be forced to take drastic action and promote younger officers to the forefront of the military. Four candidates have emerged for elevation to full general corps Guo Yu Zhao, Wang Ling Yun, Du Ji Jung, and Wei Yishan. Probably he's promising young men. Now to start our defense plan. Following Wu Paifu's call for a meeting of senior Zhili generals, a large number have arrived in Luoyang, leaving their subordinates in charge of frontline duties. The first pressing matter is pricking a centralized defense strategy for inevitable war of Japan and the Fengtian government. Northern traders' growing boldness in the wake of the League's collapse has alarmed many senior commanders, including Yi Jiang Bai Li and Liu Mianjiang. The two men have spent the past few weeks codifying plans they have been developing over the last two years and presented them to the assembled Geely commanders. Jiang's focus on large-scale defensive fortifications, moving industry to the interior of China, and rousing the fighting spirit of China in order to defeat Japan. While not a direct opposite to Jiang's plan, Liu's plan focuses more on improving the fighting capability of Geely troops, improving morale and general standards, and logistical support are key, at least in his eyes, of ensuring Chinese victory. Updated medical care also plays a crucial part of the strategy, both compelling plans, but it's up to Wu Pai Fu to ultimately decide. Let's see. Um, we'll go with Bailey's plan, I think. Yeah. Gen Errol Jiang Bailey's plan is focused on static fortifications, defensive tactics, and preparing for Japanese naval invasions on the coast. Some have criticized him for stealing ideas from subordinates. Still a solid plan to defend our country. Hey, if it works, it works. So let's hope it fucking works. We we'll let this guy attack into us enough. Hopefully, we can get working on attacking into him. Starting to go now. Kun Algiers. Um. Next, let's court Hubei generals. I wonder if we get anything over here. Not quite. Oh, well, actually, yeah. We do. So we need political power quick. Let's court Hubei Generals first. The Hubei Generals are an informal association of leading ma manufacturers in industrious in Hubei province. Jiang Bali's close family friend, General ya Xiao Yaonan, is a governor of the province and has graciously volunteered to use his industrial concerns for the construction of many of the fortifications required for Jiang's plan. Sweet. Get another jet, uh, guy attacking there. What do we got? Drought in the aftermath of the brutal civil war has caused a terrible famine in Guip Sichuan. While well, the government of Sichuan seemingly 
being incapable of solving these problems, many have simply given up and fled the province by the tens of thousands for the greener pastures in our lands. While they aren't the only ones that have fallen to hard times in China, many both among our population and our government demand that we do something to help our fellow Chinese. Others believe, and hardly without reason either, that given this crisis following the collapse of the League of Eight provinces on top of our own struggles, there's little we can do to help. Given the scale of the situation, turning them back to Sichuan is only bound to make matters worse. Regardless of our actions, our government has been fil filed an official request to the government of Chongqing that they increase their efforts to solve crisis. Try to help out wherever we can. Political power hit is not good. But manpower and weekly stability increases, that actually is pretty cool. I can't lie. About to do something possibly... A little cheeky. You hold right there, soldier. You guys, move to crush that pocket as soon as you can. Not crush the pocket, create the pocket, rather. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. All right, let's go ahead and get towards... Let's modernize armament contracts. Previously, contracts for the production of weapons were handed out on an ad hoc basis, right for corruption. By Exerting considerable political willpower, we could modernize and clean up these systems, bringing our arms industries up to Western standards. It's worth a shot. Let's do it. <laughs> Whoo! I got wounded. Zhang is driven from Jinan. And to China's basest warlord. Is that supposed to say what it does? Because I don't know. Also, the left king MT is doing scarily well right now. And I don't think I like that. Mustafa Kamal seizing power. Huh. Would have thought. Guys are like being a little uh, too crazy with the alt history, I think. Huey Long, good southern boy. Maji and Lu Guzhong, leaders of a clique that formerly ruled Guangxi, have left fled their homes after a power struggle. The two old friends had once served under us during the war with the KMT, and asked to serve in armed forces after being forced out of Guangxi, perhaps seeking a way to restore their rural Sunday. Of course, these old friends are always welcome. We'll make them welcome. The A and I one's elections. Start whittling these guys down slowly. Madrid. Oh.
We really aren't doing that. Our army is kind of rough. Oh, speaking of. I think this is more what I'm looking towards, honestly. Let's go out on our own. Our decisions to take an anti-concession stance has robbed us of German military support. But no matter, we'll turn to our other resources and the will of the people to defend ourselves. As long as it has nothing to do that nothing to do with that terrible Muse album, I'm okay. Going with the will of people. It's probably a uh, strange reference to bring right now. Um. But yeah. Let's go with the new generation of rifles. Some machine tools as well. Only having two research slots is really sucky, I can't lie. A lot of shit going down in China. Here we go. Getting there. I need more in the way of... Oh, they're both going green. Will that matter? though because we might just oh I'm gonna I don't need to load the autosave I, I, I I'm getting too into this but I think I'll be okay Okay, let's do uh, local logistics. Germany has promised to supply us with trucks and other logistical equipment for a future conflict with Japan. For military missions withdrawal, however, we need to turn to more traditional logistical methods to supply our army. In the end, this might be good news for us. The infrastructure of our country cannot really support a large amount of motorized vehicles anyway. There we go. A bit disappointed we didn't get to do our huge pocket crush, but... This will be quicker and more effective for everyone. Also, Jesus, fuck. Oh, no. And I keep hearing the, uh... The left KMT gets really overpowered. Because they actually have volunteers. So we'll have to go up against fucking tanks. And our guys might not even have guns. Night fell over the newly inaugurated presidential palace in Beijing as President v K VK, Wellington Ku, and Wu Pai Fu played an even game of cards. Two men discussed politics, current events, and the current state of the world. VK, Wellington Ku played a great hand while Wu looked at him through narrow eyes. You might relish the hand you just played. But remember, who dealt you the cards that led you to sitting in this building? The Constitutional Convention selected me, of course. Do you really believe that? asked Wu. I thought you were far smarter than that. VK Wellington cooling back in his chair. The state is only as strong as its military, I suppose. Still, you're not immortal. One day we'll need a true democracy once the period of guidance of a nation comes to an end. You will see, said Wu, lighting a cigarette and staring out over the city. From where does political power grow? That's a question. Long Hewn! Gonna try my best to not make a TNO joke on that, but failed by making a reference at the very least. But what are you gonna do? I 
I genuinely, genuinely don't know what I should be looking for, who I should be rooting for. But... I can tell you right now, this isn't looking the best for us. But I'm sure it could always be worse. I don't know how, but... Maybe we'll find out next time. Like as always, you like guys, just like if you didn't leave any comments or feedback down in the comment section below. And hit the sub button for uploads weekdays as well as occasional Saturdays. Check your links down in the description box below. And that's about it for now, gang. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye now.